Hey guys, and welcome back to a new tutorial. I am Arts Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. And today we will create this cool retro loop animation. And I swear you guys, this animation is 0% difficult. 100% cool. Cringe. <laughs> For this animation, you only need one building complex, one plane, and one disc as the moon, and that's it. It's all about materials in this project. That's the reason why I show you how you can create easily ambient material that give you the typical charming city vibe like here in this example. Let's go. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shout outs if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support, guys. The 3D, the 3D objects. objects. Find the code in the video and get free project files. Good luck, guys. Let's start with the tutorial. And first, you need for this project this uh, buildings here. They are free. You can download them from this website. I will also link you the files here in the caption. And when the download is ready, you can drag and drop it here in the scene. And then you get the whole buildings here. Okay. And first, we will delete the plane here to see more what happened in the scene. And as you can see, there are also sometimes some display issues. When you are near, it's okay. But if you go far away, you don't see it. To fix it, you have to go to scene settings. And then you go here under project, display. And here we change to huge. And now we don't have the issues anymore. Perfect. In the next step, we clean here a little bit. We don't need the lights and this lights. We only need the buildings. So now you can delete everything. Okay. Now only the buildings are left. That's perfect. And now we select all buildings with the shift key and then we press connect plus delete and now we can also delete all materials that are here inside oh wow that's a lot la 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 okay and now delete it <laughs> and now we have only the clean buildings here all right and now we duplicate the buildings with the cloner tool put the buildings under the cloner and now we go here under cloner object grid is already right under count we choose here five one and five and now we have to increase the sizes here and here we have to choose minus twenty two thousand one hundred thirteen to get this result, 200 in the middle is right. And here we have to choose minus 80,590 to get this result. That looks good. Now we go under transform and transform here, scale Y to 0 0.5 to get smaller, smaller buildings. And now we will work with the random deformer. You have to select the cloner. Yes, the random is now here inside. Now you can affect the whole scene with the random effector. And here we don't need the position. We need only the scale. And under scale Y, we choose now 1.4 1. 1. 1. to get the random scale values here of the buildings. Oh, don't work. Like this. So now the buildings are different high and lo it looks now more realistic. Now we insert a camera and put here first a check mark to uh, fix our scene. And now we go to the render settings and here we choose our render region. It's in this case 1080 by 1350 pixels. And we also render later on animation. So we need all frames. All right. Now we change the position here from the camera to a suitable um, area. Do something like this. These are my uh, 
coordinates and in the next step we go also to object and change here the focal length to 50 to get this cool not typical flat camera view for the landscape i think it looks really good already and now we put out the check mark to get out of our uh, scene and now we insert a plane as a floor like this like this all right now we have to look up here in the four view window the plane fits it's real too high okay and now it should fit perfectly okay now we duplicate the plane change now to z plus and bring the plane to the end of the scene like this and we change the scale width and height to something more not so big like this these are my values and now we go back in our camera view and now we have our scene now the only thing that is missing is the moon and for this we need a disk here we choose plus x and here we need for the outer radius 23,635.9 to get this uh, big disk. And here we have to increase the rotation segments to get round edges. And now we bring it here to the center of our scene. Wow, it looks already really good. Now you have also looked that the moon is perfectly here on the background. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it! <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon, link is in the caption. The animation. Alright, and today we will came now to the animation part. Now, because it's really simple. First, we increase the animation duration to 150 frames. And now we only animate the camera that it's light to the side. But here in this project, it's also important that the moon and the background are moving with the camera. And you can really easy fix it when you put the plane background and the disc from the background, background under the camera. And now when we animate the camera, these both elements are also animated. So it's really easy. And yeah, to animate the camera, we go here under coordinates, insert here a keyframe, and then we go to the end of the animation. And I think this is our spot, yeah. And now we move position X to the side. Then when we think it's enough, like this. Now we have to uh, press again here on the keyframe. And now everything is animated. And really important, we want that the animation is linear. So for this, we go here under window, timeline F curve. And here's our animation curve. And here we have to select all points. And then we go here to linear. And now the animation is linear. And that's it for the animation part. <laughs> Sorry, Art Invaders, I'm tired. Part 2 will online in the few next days. I promise. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it.